Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeps here, your old composer here, decomposing at the Decomposer Lounge. So we're gonna have fun dissecting your, f God, it sounds like a horror, for it's a horror show, doesn't it? Ooh, decomposing, dissecting, Whoa. <laughs> Anyhow, having fun, taking back the layers of your favorite music that you guys suggest to me. Yesterday, Lamb of God, man, I mean, I was so blown away. Still, I, ha I listened to it like three or four times and I picked up my guitar and tried, and it just, I'm not that good. Maybe an old dog can learn new tricks and, but it, it was just amazing. The stamina of the musicianship and the musicianship of that track I did yesterday was insane. But today, Mastodon Blood and Thunder graces our studio here. Can't believe it took me this long to do it too. I am so sorry, you know what? People have been requesting Mastodon almost since the very first month. I, I, I apologize. All right, guys, let's do this. Um, Mastodon, Blood and Thunder, like you guys know. <laughs> What's below? The link. For what? If you want to buy me a cup of coffee, because you know that these uh, videos, when they run ads, doesn't monetize the channel. Also, the link for Mastodon's Spotify, the headset, and yes, my Patreon. My Patreon still, thank, gosh, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out at Patreon. It's been really fun. Blood and Thunder, Mastodon. All right. <laughs> Jeez, that, 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 that very unique, super unique chord changes uh, that are going on there. I don't know if, I kind of stopped kind of early here. I usually try to let it go to the, you know, the first hook. But I had to glam over the drums. The way the drums were ending up all of those phrases. Da, 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 staying tight on the snare and then just going to us and giving us the full blast. Something else I want to bring up and then we'll get right back into it is that dun 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 and then a dun 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 and if you listen to it you know hearing it at the very beginning strictly with the guitar piped right down the middle so it was a mono signal you can hear that when he does that da 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 he's it's not da 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 he's actually just hitting it once and then sliding it back and forth and that is so freaking difficult for me at least I don't know, for those of you who are guitar players, to get that that clean, um, that is absolutely so epically difficult. Bass players killing it, everything is in unison, so, and just in case you know unison, they're all playing the same exact notes. There's, you know, sometimes the bass will come around in passage and stuff, but everything is really super ma monster, mastodon type. So let's go back, I had to hurry up and just glam on the, uh, the drums and that guitar technique, here we go.
You know, I, I don't, you know, that whole passage, so I'm thinking, um, and I don't know, so spare me the smoke, so you guys tell me, but I'm thinking that it sounds like, you know, there's a fifth, that first harmony that's being played there is a fifth, and then the other harmony jumps in here on this side, and I'm, and I'm thinking that perhaps maybe there's a pitch shifter or a harmonizer <clears throat> that's on the first line in a perfect fifth, sounds like. I don't know, my, I don't have perfect pitch, but it sounds like it's a fifth, and then comes in and cranks uh, the other harmony on this side, but it sounds absolutely crazy. I love the sound of the guitars on this. I don't know when uh, this was uh, recorded, what year it was recorded. It sounds really super raw and organic, a la pre-over compression, modern, con you know, contemporary engineering and stuff like that, uh, especially on the drums, the engineer on that. And then the vocals on this. Now, this is where I want to shine up on a little of the vocals. Um, during the verse, well, it's not growling. It's definitely intense, absolutely intense performance. Um, but it actually has, it seems to me like it actually has a little bit of a tone. It's carrying a tone through it, like a note. Though it, not, though it may not be, <coughs> excuse me, though it may not be, um, uh, how, how can I say this? A, as as purposeful as hitting a note, but there's a tone in his um, performance there that locks into the scale. It seems like to me, and then when they get into da 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 da, they're really thick. They blow the the um, the vocals hard left and right and sink it in the back. That's you know power growling that's going on there. Obviously, I don't know what they're saying in the lyrics, and you know my thing is I listen to the band as all as musicians, including the, you know the the lead singer. It's an instrument here, you know. Anyhow, so I just, I, that the whole solo thing that we just heard sounded like a fifth harmonized and then um, the, other, the, the other part of the harmony on this side. All right, <laughs> here we go. Yay! Your and and when you see the white world, break your back. I'm sorry, but I'm fully, fully glamming on the drums right now. I'm, I mean, I know I just, this was my first experience with Mastodon. But man, that drummer, I mean, did, did absolutely lit it up. And I was listening really close because I love the snare sound. But so I'm focusing in on the snare sound just engineering wise. And I'm going, damn, listen to those ghost notes. Ghost notes are, you know, unless you actually focus on it, you know, uh, if you're either you are a musician or drummer or something like that, they become you know there are they're obviously part of the complete song. It's a it's a it's a it's a dynamic in playing drums. If you're just the pure listener, you know nothing about you know music as far as performance and stuff like that. Um, ghost notes are accents. So uh, just really quick, if you were just to take your snare and go pop pop pop, okay. So if those are quarter notes, but if you want pop 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 and there's that much lighter that's why they call them ghosts they kind of back in there 
but you can hear his ghost notes and then they fade away and then they, the ghost notes then become integral parts of the arrangement because he gives it a little bit more power and velocity. So it goes from ghost notes to what you might notice, um, you know, just really fast 16th playing while, while he's still going off on the cymbals and stuff, you know. And the bass, uh, the bass playing, the guitar playing, the, the musicianship of Mastodon is unquestionable. You always see me do this. Okay, so we know that. Let's put that there. But in the arrangement and the compositions, they really took it, except for the obvious uh, areas where they repeated, um, you know, some of their phrasing and stuff. As per songwriting, that's what we do, right? Well, I don't write songs, but songwriters. Um, they really, they really took me through unique journeys with those really unique breakdowns, da, 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 you know, that kind of. And then when they uh, did something really super unique in their bridge, which was after their second chorus, completely. Uh, different shift which is usually what a bridge is about so it would go intro verse chorus verse chorus bridge uh, a different kind of section into a myriad of ways to get out in this case how they got out on this one was still yet another completely different arrangement and it was very fanfare you know uh, in this in the essence of like you know a lot of times if you're watching you know a classical composition you know an orchestra and stuff you can tell there's an ending coming because of the change in the power of the composition, not necessarily the musicianship and stuff. And so it's got this fanfare ending, dun, 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 you know, that kind of a thing. And they really nailed that feeling for me. But then I loved what the drummer did. Uh, he threw in that da 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 in there and it totally caught me off guard, man. I loved every bit of it. So I, I, I'm going to go through a couple of other songs of theirs just to familiarize myself, but not not many because I still need you guys to suggest. That's what makes it all fun for me is you suggest the songs. I do it, right? So um, thank you for being patient for those of you who've been asking for Mastodon, okay? I appreciate it. So suggest more from Mastodon as well as the other tracks. And like I said, want to buy me a cup of coffee? Like, ah! Link is down below. Patreon, Mastodon, uh, Spotify, and a link if you want to check out the headsets. All right, guys, take care. Have a killer day. Aloha. Ah All right.